Hello everyone, welcome back to Nidja Cloud Tech. Hope all of you are doing good. This is the part three of Python automation series. So before watching this, I strongly recommend you to watch the previous one. So where we have basically discussed about how we can read a specific cell. And in this video, we are going to discuss about how we can uh, read multiple uh, cell or multiple row, I can say. So we are uh, going to use same Excel sheet. So let me show you once again. So this is the sheet basically where we have this these file store one, store two, store three, and store four. And uh, here in this video, I'm going to use store three, or I can use another one as well. But let's uh, start with this store three, and then let's see. Okay. So uh, this is the path. See project one Python automation. So if I show you here. Uh, I'm going to use sim import open p by Excel and path I have already defined and I'm calling this seat. So let me first uh, show you the total number of rows and columns uh, so that, uh, you know, it would be easy. Uh, I can show you like how we can uh, read multiple rows. So let's start with to see total number of rows and columns. For that, I will first write sh1 seat one and let's say wv and i'm calling store three as in seat so store three i'm using this seat so basically sh1 and uh, uh wv uh basically is holding the part wv object and now let me use variable like i can say max call max column and then sh1 dot max column similarly max row and again also sh1 dot max so okay and then i can print this print max call and max row max call and similarly i can print max row okay so now let me save this if i show you we have one two three four five six seven column and one two three four rows now let's see how it returns Then, so see, max call is 7 and max row is 4, as I mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Now, suppose if you want to return all the column names. Now, how you will return? Let me show you. So what I will do here, I can use loop, for loop for and I can call I in range and I want one and I max I call plus max call okay and indent and after that so what since I need to iterate column multiple times so that's the reason i have taken starting from one and then max call so that the value will be assigned one by one in i and then it will return accordingly let me show you now i can say cell object equals to sh1 dot cell row equals to 1 and column equals to i. Now I will tell you why I put row equals to 1 and column equals to i. So if you see here, I need all the column names. So it is coming under row 1. 
and if you see i i value basically iterate using for loop so it will start from one and then one two three four five like this so that's the reason i pass i under the column and row equals to one now let me print this print and see cell o obj dot value and let me save this and run this so see i have list of all the columns if you see segment country product segment country product discount band unit sold month then, till month then. but i don't have year here so basically there is a small catch here let me show you why this year is not returned here okay so let me show you so what i am doing here i am trying to show you with one example let's say one comma five so i am giving range here one to five and then let me print this i value okay so if you see here it has written one two three four so it means it always returns one value less uh, as per the range so i have given range one two five that's why it has written one two four similarly max column is returning seven so that's the reason it is returning one two six and because of that year column is not coming so for that what we need to do we always need to add plus one here to get all the values control s now see here now it has written here as well. so this is the small catch here so you need to make sure whenever you write you can just write max call plus one now let's say if you want to uh, put or if you want to read this third column value so how you will do again you don't need to do anything here what you can do if you need to pull third value so uh this is one two three so this is row three basically so you just need to put row three and uh, after that Control S and column equals to I because it will it did like this. So you will get all this. See. Government Germany 1321 January 2022. Okay. Okay. Now if you want to read all the rows, so now what will you do? let me remove this so that all i can say i can comment this so there would be no confusion okay now in the in this we have seen all the column names now i want to see let's say row one basically i can say i'm looking for row value of all the rows of column one so how will i return let me show you for i in range so this time above row is dynamic last time column so i can write max row and then indent and now shell of j equals to i again want sh1 dot cell and i can write here now now here i want row equals to i because i'm looking 
for dynamic value here i like it will iterate it will iterate one by one and column equals to one so if you see this is the column one only okay and do equals to i because it will iterate like this okay now let me print this so i can copy this one and yeah okay we are good control s and then we can run this so see we have segment government government if you notice again we don't have this mid market again same thing we just need to add plus one here and then after that we can see that in market well, let me delete this and control c see segment government government mid mark so similarly if you are looking for this none 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 so what you can do this is the one two three four column four so you can just simply put here column four control s see discount band and then none 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 like this so whatever uh you want you just need to you know like playing with this row and column and uh, as for the requirement you can pass so uh, equals to i or column equals to i depending on the requirement okay now this is about if you need to read all the column names or the specific row uh now suppose if i need to read all row and column so how will i read let me show you so if if you see we have two loops here basically first it will iterate row by row like one two three four and then second it will iterate cell each column so we have to use two loop in that let me show you how we will use that so i can basically remove this and now let me write the code to iterate all the row and column so i will write for i in range and uh, i'm looking first to max row plus one it will iterate all the rows one by one okay one two three four but now i need to trade column as well so what i will do i will write for j in range and here i can give one comma max call plus one okay now i need to read cell value of so end column. So again, I need to read from seed one, SH one, which is store three. Dot. I need to read cell, so I can write cell, and then I need to read I and J, and I can call dot well. Okay, and I can print this. Okay. If I delete this now, let me run this. So let me try to explain you again. So since we need to, you know, iterate row and column both one, two, three, four, four rows, and then these seven columns. Okay. So for that we need two loop. So first I took for i in range one max row, which we have you know uh you uh just calculated above. And then max call we also calculated L. So for iterating row, I have used I, and for iterating column, I have used this for uh, J. Now I'm I I have seed name uh, exclusively, which is I'm uh, basically uh, SS one is holding the the seed store three, and then I need to read the cell of store three and then 
i and j it is iterating goals and column dot value now if i save this and run this so we'll able to see all the rows and so see here now if you can see segment country product discount and units sold month name here okay and now government canada government canada none one six one eight January two thousand twenty two. See and then again government Germany. So everything you are able to see. Okay, guys. So I hope this video would be helpful.